Hi there, and welcome to this first out of seven lessons introducing basic features in AutoCAD 2012. I recommend using 2012, but if you have previous version or AutoCAD Lite or AutoCAD Art Architecture installed, uh, you will be able to follow to some extent. In the first lesson, we'll take a look at the interface. In the second and third, we'll look at simple drawing and modifying techniques. In the fourth, we'll make our first print and plot of a drawing. In the fifth and sixth lesson, we will look at more advanced techniques using blocks and references. And in the seventh lesson, we will look at compatibility between AutoCAD and Revit. This first lesson will focus on the interface. Uh, the interface, as you see it here, consists of multiple ribbons in the top bar, a property bar, and a command line. If your AutoCAD layout is looking completely different, it might be because you are in the AutoCAD Classic mode, which is um, and layout that looks familiar to earlier Microsoft products um, with drop-down menus and customized um, toolbars that you can move around. If you're a new user, I'll definitely recommend that you're using the new interface. The ribbons you see in top um, we'll mainly use the home ribbon uh, for the drawing and modifying lessons and the insert for the lessons dealing with blocks and references. Uh, and when you get more experienced, uh, you might uh, need some of the advanced uh, features um, in the other ribbons. The property bar uh, might not be turned on uh, when opening your project but uh, the property bar can easily be turned on by selecting an object and um, right clicking and clicking the properties or as an alternative go to your view ribbon and turn on the properties. And as you can see um, the property for for instance this arrow um, gives us some um, options to change, for instance, an error head or the length of it. Uh, if we took the properties of the text, we could change font and tick sizes and so on. The command line that you see down here is um, a tool that origins from the very beginning of uh, AutoCAD, but is still a very uh, useful tool also for new users. Um, and um, I'll get back to that um, during the following sessions. The large black area that you see here is our um, model space. That's where we are creating our drawing in a scale one to one. If you're an architect, one unit, for instance, will correspond to one millimeters. If you're a land surveyor, one unit corresponds to one meter. Um, So basically one unit equals one unit of whatever you want it to be. In the layout, on the other hand, we are able to set up um, the drawing in a specific scale on a paper. Uh, we are able to uh, pan and zoom it in and out. And um, and set the scale, for instance, to, I don't know what makes sense in this case, one to two, um, because it's a small drawing. We'll come back to that in lesson four. To understand um, the model space, um, you need to understand the coordinate system, uh, which consists of an X and a Y axis, and if you're drawing in 3D, of course, also a Z axis. And I will, uh, to illustrate that, try to draw 
a simple line starting in uh, coordinate 0, comma 0. And as you saw, uh, I put in the co coordinates uh, dynamically. Here I now place the first point, and in order to make a line, I need to define a second one, and that could, for instance, be in 1, um, comma 1. And to illustrate that the next point, uh, when being typed in um, dynamically, um, has the uh, relative reference, you can say, uh, from the previous point. So if I would like a line to go one unit out um, um, along the x-axis, I type in 1, comma, 0 and end uh, the line by pressing escape. So I typed in 0, 0 in the dynamic input, I typed in 1, 1, and I typed in 1, 0 here. I'll just um, turn on my grid, um, and it looks like it's been set up to um, have the scale of one unit. In order to understand the uh, orientation of the model space, um, as a small drawing here is telling that um, along the x-axis um, it's degree 0, up the y-axis is degree 90, and 180 and 270 if you go um, the negative direction. To illustrate that, I'll just try to draw yet another line, and I would like to start in point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma 0, and I would like it to go up um, 2 units in a 45 uh, uh, degree angle, and I'll type in the angle bracket, and I'll type in the degree. 45. And I'll now draw a line two units up in the 90 degree angle. I'll type in two, press angle bracket, and um, type in 90, and enter and press escape. So once again, I typed in 5,0. Afterwards, I typed in 2, angle bracket, 45, and in a similar way, I typed in 2, angle bracket, 90 here. Okay, I'll end for now. Um, I hope to see you in the following two sessions where we we'll look at more um, advanced ways of drawing line works and modifying it. Bye for now. Take care.